Last year was a great year, sorry, for this car. We not only took out Club Sprint and set a new lap record for the category at World Time Attack, but we also won Oz Time Attack as well. Yeah, we had a very, very positive year last year. Welcome to the Road to World Time Attack Challenge 2024, presented by Super Cheap Auto. We're here at Winton Raceway for Oz Time Attack and we'll be talking to the 2023 Club Sprint Champions, Team DC Jap Automotive and the driver Trent Grubel. Hi, my name is Trent Grubel. I'm driving for DC Jap Automotive in this year's Club Sprint class at World Time Attack. A motorsport that probably spans around two decades, starting from karts as a young kid, moving to Formula Ford, then production cars, Formula 3. Uh, but I've actually been involved with World Time Attack almost 10 years now, so since 2015. So yeah, a uh, fair few miles under the belt. And what was the transition like between those types of sports? With the World Time Attack stuff and compared to like the Formula 3 and the open wheel cars, it's actually fairly similar um, in terms of the downforce, the speed, the corner speed, things like that. Obviously these machines just reach the top speed a lot faster, but yeah, no, it's uh, at a track that I know very well, so yeah, it's been pretty good. Do you have any sort of routine that you do before you race? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a few little quirks that I do, you know, that I do have for preparation. I, I do some breathing techniques to kind of calm myself down. This is more so with the other racing stuff that I do. Um, I've got a few habits where the helmet can't touch the ground. Um, for myself, um, jumping in whatever I can just to get keep myself race fit. You know, if it's got four wheels and a steering wheel, I'll be in it. I'll, you know, absolutely send it. So yeah, that's how I'm staying, staying ready. So how long would you say you've been racing with DC Jap for? Probably from 2017 was the first time I actually drove the car, but the first World Time Attack was 2019 with them. Me and Colin's relationship, like it, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, I'm surprised that, you know, someone that I didn't know from a bar of soap, you know, and now has so much trust in me and to drive his car, which originally was, you know, for him is just uh, an amazing feeling. Hi, my name's Colin. I'm the owner of DC Jap Automotive, and this is our 2024 uh, World Time Attack Club Sprint entry. DC Jap Automotive uh, is a Subaru uh, enhancement shop. Um, we do normal servicing to all your performance mods, suspension, brake upgrades, exhaust systems. Like there was uh, a sense of pressure that comes with that. You know, like I feel like I need to always make sure I'm 110%. But I love, I love that. You know, it just I see the amount of uh, dedication he has towards me and I try and pay that back with you know the fastest possible lap I can and doing the best job and the whole team as a whole you know they just come out they're just so supportive. Uh, we have kind of shifted from that enjoyment sector of a track day to the competitive side but I think that's good in nature but we still have that fundamental just enjoyment of motorsport there at the end of the day. You know we now do have a good team debrief at the start and at the end of each single day but we both know when we kind of need to cool off and walk away and have a think about things, we do, so it's been great. Back in 2014, um, when I first bought this car, this STI behind me, I used to go to track days, I just put on my mods that I know um, that I use now every day that I sell. We, we run a standard EJ257 uh, engine in this. Um, not standard, of course, internally, um, but the block is all totally stock. This car does not have anything custom uh, that you cannot buy off the shelf. Um, maybe a catch can is custom, but every part that we use on our car is, uh, you can buy it off the shelf. So um, basically we built the car around all the parts that we sell. We trust and use ourselves to know exactly what it can, it can, it can do. Anything to enhance a Subaru. The car runs a, a, a Garrett GTX 3582 uh, turbo and the car pushes out 420 kilowatts. I first met Trent at a, uh, at a test day that um, I couldn't figure out a fuel issue. A fuel issue, they couldn't get the figured out. 
he jumped in the car, he drove it, and it was exactly the same issue he was having that I was trying to explain uh, to my tuner back then. We didn't quite hear from them for another couple months. From then, I, I didn't see Trent for a couple of months. And then at a uh, Super Nuts event, which is a Subaru dedicated track day, I would say, a, a big event, I, I saw him there again and I, I didn't want to drive the car. Uh, the owner, Colin, said, hey, like, I don't kind of want to go out. So I asked Trent if he wanted to drive it and uh, he said yes. I hopped in it straight away. We did an amazing job and I've been in it ever since. So from then, he, he's been in the car helping me develop every little bit on what you see today. Have you had to make any adjustments to your driving style, if any, in this car? Uh, yeah, look, it's been a bit of a give and take. You know, they've kind of been uh, supportive enough to build the car around me and the way I drive, but there's also been a bit of adaptation from my end as well to kind of, you know, find out what I need to do to get the best out of the machinery as well. Yeah. Uh, the strong points from this are, at, as of now, Reliability. Reliability is our strong point. You know, we make every session, we attend every event. We're here at Oz Time Attack, you know, using that as a, as a test day. We're doing all three days because we know we can leading up to World Time Attack. So mileage is just the biggest thing, you know, and for me as a driver, being able to get more miles um, under my belt is just a positive in every way. This car has been doing really well in the club sprint class, especially last year winning the title. Um, what changes have you made this year to continue being at that top spot? So from 2019 when we first entered World Time Attack, it was still a, uh, a street registered vehicle. That year we came, we came six, and then we started uh, looking at the rules to tick, tick some of the boxes. Um, and then we came back in 2022, yeah, just, just with, uh, still with the six-speed gearbox, H-pattern, just very, very minor mods, um, off-the-shelf aero, and we came third. And then we're looking at it and go, all right, we're, we're, we're close to the top step. So for uh, 2023, we decided to tick some bigger boxes, scrunch your gearbox, different brakes, suspension was, was something very hush-hush in the background that no one knew what we were running. Three big items. Um, is what I believe that, that gave us that little, little bit of an edge um, was the Sydney Composite Aero Package, DNA Auto Sports Core Levers, and the Alcon Big Brake Kit. Yeah, last year was a bit of an interesting year. It wasn't very smooth sailing for us. You know, we had a gearbox issue the week before. We had an engine issue two weeks out. Um, on the Thursday, we actually had a, a control arm failure and damaged the car, so it wasn't super smooth and after the first session at World Time Attack we had a, um, a timing issue where it jumped and we weren't quite sure if we we're going to be able to get out again at all. So it's just been once again making sure the car's reliable, just going through. We know the package we have is, is good but it's just being able to be consistent with it is our, is our biggest thing. But still like a great year, sorry for this car. We not only took out Club Sprint and set a new lap record for the category at World Time Attack but we also one Oz Time Attack as well, uh, fairly convincingly. And then we went back to Subinat and took a few lap records there as well. So yeah, we had a very, very positive year last year. So for our 2024 entry, uh, Sydney Coppersets has a, has a upgraded aero package that we'll put on. DNA Autosports, who does all my suspension, uh, has a few tweaks to their coilovers that they develop. We'll be running ABS. So in 2023, when we won Club Sprint class, we had no ABS, no pedal box, none of the big stuff. So this year, we'll, we'll be ticking every single box to try and uh, keep our top step. So basically, last year, when we won World Time Attack, I got insulted for running a dinosaur turbo. So it's a Garrett uh, 3582 turbo. It's probably five years old, I would say. So this year, we'll be upgrading the turbo and um, maybe give it a bit more oomph. And uh, ERS are returning to contest the club sprint title this year. What are you doing to stay on top of the top spot? 
Yes, uh, ARS coming back. The WRX versus EVO battle, you know, it's old as time. We're here, we're testing. This is how we, we get on top of it. You know, we make sure we dot the I's and cross the T's every time we're at a track. Yeah, look, besides ERS, everyone's got a puncher's chance, you know. Who's to say that we roll out, we've got an issue and we don't get out and set a lap time at all. You know, this can happen to anyone. Anyone can shine on their day. There are, I know God at Rex were unfortunate last year, but they will bring a competitive package. Um, Lamb Speed as well, you know, they they always end up there or thereabouts. So they're another dark horse. So yeah, it, it's just the excitement of World Time Attack. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, everyone that's coming out to World Time Attack, definitely jump into our garage, have a look around. Um, for all those people saying things on Facebook, things like that about club sprint cars, by all means, I'll give you the tour. Come in, see me. Um, for the competitors, bring it, let's go. You know what I mean? I'm there to do a job and I'm gonna do that job well. So just make sure you guys bring your A game. So World Time Attack, look, it, it's, a, it's the one event where I can be both uh, competitor and fan. You know, it, it's, it's literally everything. I can go out, you know, absolutely push it in my session, compete against some of the best drivers in Australia. And then I can walk around and be a fan of motorsport and car culture as a whole. You know, you just don't get that anywhere else. There's just so much happening. Like, you know, I stay laid back, watch all the new car builds, the show and shine. Mm -hmm. Excited to see Mad Mike come back. Um, I'm excited for the, the Indy car. Um, as an open wheel fan myself, this is something cool. Maybe they might throw me the keys. I know they probably won't, but if they do, if they need a driver, I'm there. Um, and looking for the, the drifting as well. That's always fun to watch. Just, you know, once my day's done, just kind of sit back, relax, watch the, watch the tie smoke. Everything all wrapped in one. Super Cheap Auto.